Good morning. I got more sports to discuss. And it has to do with NHL. Now, I watched a few games yesterday. And uh, seems two Canadian teams that I've seen won. The Calgary Flames and the Toronto Maple Leafs. Now, I've seen both games. But I've seen the end of the Toronto and Ottawa Senators. That was another Canadian team. They lost last night. It's a pity. But hey, a few good moments came out of Toronto and Ottawa game. Since, uh, you know, Phil Kessel, he scored three goals to give Toronto the win. And, um, yeah, he reached a milestone of that in that game, too. Trying to reach a certain goal, goal number. But of course, Phil Kessel is also a member of the United States uh, ice hockey team. They are going to uh, Sochi Olympic Games. In fact, coming th out this week. Coming this week, on the sixth of February. I thought it was the seventh, but of course you got to remember the time zones. Russia is way ahead of. Uh, Canada and the United States in the time zones. They're, they're in Asia and Europe, so they'll be in different time zones. Sochi, Russia is in a different time zone. But anyways, I've seen Phil Kessel score some goals. Man, this guy is very crafty with the puck. And another American player is crafty as well, Patrick Kane from the Chicago Blackhawks. And he's also playing on the U.S. Olympic team as well. So, I don't know. It'll be, uh, it'll be interesting to see what they do on a bigger ice surface. Because uh, most of the ice rinks in Rus Russia, I mean, not just Russia, but most of Europe, ice hockey, they have never had much success. The U.S. and both the U.S. and Canadian teams have never had much success on larger ice surfaces. And Europe has big ice surfaces where the Europeans have had the advantage in skating. But all I can say is, is that these, both Canada, Team Canada and United, Team USA, they're going to have to learn how to skate if they're going to cover that uh, big, big ice surface or lock up defensively it's teams like Team Sweden and Finland and Russia. Because Russia, Russian, Swedish, Sweden, and Finland, those teams can skate. Especially in bigger ice surfaces. And maybe, nobody talks about uh, Slovenia. But, yeah, they appear under the radar. But, uh, they got this player, Andrzej Kopitar. Now, he plays for the Los Angeles Kings. He could be a scoring threat for Slovenia. But, Seems nobody's talking about that team. In the last Olympic Games, nobody was talking about Team USA until they went undefeated. And uh, of course, unfortunately, they lost to uh, Team Canada in overtime, taking home a silver medal. Well, they're not under the radar now, but Team Slovenia is under the radar. And nobody talks about them. Now they're talking about Switzerland. They can be a threat, and even Germany, if they're in the Olympics, that is. But Russia, they're the favorites to win gold. And I suspect that Team Canada will take silver, and bronze will probably be going to Czech Republic or some other team, European team, or Finland. But uh, it could be anybody's game. You never know. The Olympics can be anybody's tournament. The same goes for the women's side as well. I mean, Finland and Sweden are eventually catching up to the United States. They can take silver too. I mean, USA can medal out on the women's side. But Canada are favorites to win. But let's forget all that. It's getting back to the NHL action. Calgary uh, won last night. And um, I must say, they're really climbing up the uh, 
in the standings, NHL standings. If they keep playing the way they're playing, possibly they can win it. They can uh, get into the playoffs as the eighth seed. So uh, it's pretty good. They've been playing pretty well. But uh, there's something else I want to talk about. Now I've been uh, I've been looking looking up uh, the uh, his name Gary Bettman. I was curious about where he was born because I first time I saw him I thought he was a Canadian, but then I find out he was born in New York State. But so he's an American, obviously. I would thought that. Be, I thought that the NHL, with the Canadians making up the majority of the players, they would have a Canadian uh, commi NHL commissioner. But uh, NHL is American, so they hired an American. Now, I have nothing against them, but uh, when you have Canadian players making up the majority of players in the NHL, you would expect that a, you would expect that a Canadian would be an NHL commissioner, but the NHL is an American league. Since most of the, the Canadian players that play, including Sidney Crosby and Duncan Keith, they the salaries they make is, I mean, it's in American dollars, U.S. dollars. So um, that's pretty much it. But lo and behold. The money they make, no matter how much money they make from the NHL, I consider them just employees and slaves. Even this goes for the NFL and all these other major professional player professional um, leagues. But I'm gonna not gonna get that deep. This is the NHL talk right now on my channel. Yeah, the. They make it. They make a high salary, and the money they make is in U.S. dollars. So, I would suspect Gary Bettman is an American as a commissioner. Who knows how long he'll stay as a NHL commissioner? I nobody can tell. That's it. This edition for NHL talk. This is Cove Sports signing off. Take care.